I wanted to build a jukebox for the uh, workshop in the basement using some parts I have laying around the house. And first, we have this uh, screen out of an old laptop. It does have a scratch and a smaller one down here. I'm not worried about that because it'll probably get more scratches and stuff. And if I break it, I'll just go find another junk laptop somewhere. And here's the uh, Pi 4. I also have some LEDs. I do know that only part of the strip works. I'll see if I can get all of them working. If not, I'll just have a strand. Here's my micro uh, SD adapter. It's 64 uh, gig and I already have all my music put on that. Here's the HDMI adapter. And for the, the uh, screen, here's the controller with power supply. And it came up for a remote, even though I don't really need it. Here's my HDMI cord. And to uh, help with the, uh, the sound, I got one of these, uh, I call it a DAC, or it's DAC, Digital to Analog Converter. And uh, try to get uh, some better sound out of it. Also, have an amplifier downstairs that this will be plugged into, and it has a subwoofer with it. To go along with that, I got a new case for the Pi 4. And I went ahead and got a power supply with a switch on it. And to top the build off, I have this uh, mini keyboard. And here's the wire to go with that. And this is a uh, wireless. Has the dongle right here, and it has an internal battery, so it does need to charge up. So we'll see if we can uh, piece all this together. Before we get started, um, I would like to say that I am not an expert in electronics. I just tinker with them. Um, there's probably better ways to do this. Probably cheaper and more efficient ways to do this. But this is what stuff I had laying around, and this is how I'm going to try to put this together. On the back of the monitor, the number I want is this LP156WH2. And when I looked up that number, it said that this one is compatible. And what the uh, controller came with was the remote and the power supply. And so, so this uh, HDMI was extra, and I already had that laying around. So that will take care of the uh, screen or the monitor.
to put an operating system on your uh, SD card, you can Google search this Raspberry Pi imager. Then once it's uh, open and running, you come over here and you're going to click your operating system. For me, I use this media player operating system, OSMC. Then I came down here for the Pi 4 and the Pi 400. So now I have that selected. Then when you choose your storage, you're going to choose your micro SD card that you have uh, plugged in. And as you can see, mine's empty because I've already done this stage, but you'll find your card right here and you'll, and you'll just go ahead and click it. Then once that's done, then you'll come over here and you'll click the right button. Once you've written to your SD card, then you can put it in your SD slot. Then you plug in all your uh, cords and your power and you're ready for it to boot up for the first time. The first boot up, you're going to come to a screen like this. And I don't like this skin, so I go to settings, then interface, come over here to skins, and I like to use this one right here. Okay, so this is the one that I like to use. And for me, having the uh, the DAC on it, you're going to have to um, go in and select that so that the, uh, the pod knows to use that through the GPIO pins. Okay, now that we uh, switched the skin, you just hit the back button until you go all the way back to the main menu. You scroll all the way down until you get to My OSMC. Come over here to Pi Configure. Then then we come over here to Hardware Support. Then right here is where you can choose which uh, setup you have. And for mine, it's this Allo Boss deck. So I've already selected it. Then to make it work, you're going to have to, uh, to do a reboot. What are you working on? Yeah. What's it called? Oh, it's a lathe. A lathe? Lathe. What's wrong with it? The button does not do all the... The two... The two... So I plugged the amp in and all it did was buzz and even if I tried to put sound through it. So I guess this one got uh, caught up in the flood. We have a small basement flood here some time ago. Just enough to ruin. So I just went ahead and I found another one on eBay for like 30 bucks. So I just went ahead and got that. So basically what this is, just a uh, powered speaker with a subwoofer. And it plugs into your headphone jack. And this is what I'm going to use for the uh, sound system. Okay, so I got it all hooked up and working. And it does great. Uh, the subwoofer does great. Um, sorry I can't play anything. Um, it, I'm pretty sure that would be a copyright. And uh, I'm going to try to avoid that. But, so, now we just build a box for it. I think I already got an idea of what I'm going to do. Um, I plan on, on the back on the back across here where the TV and stuff's at, I'm, I was going to put shelves for all the tools and stuff to set on. So I think what I'm going to do is build a box, but only I'm going to have it hanging from the rafters and uh, kind of sitting like that. Um, so that's my idea for now. Might change it, but that'd be pretty neat. And uh, what I'll probably do is uh, take these speakers apart and the volume control and somehow integrate it. Is 
because I can control the uh, sound and all that from the remote. So I might just leave those inside on high and control the volume through here. So, <laughs> uh, we got Levi here singing. Uh oh, we found some trains. So I think that's going to wrap this video up and uh, I'll see you next time.